Well, hey everybody, I'm Lance Herring, and you just heard my friend Jonathan Story have his first experience with this Kawaii X Grand Library for Contact and Giga Studio sampler software. I teamed up once again with Arno at Acoustic Samples, and we've created this new patch uh, based on this wonderful Kawaii X Concert Grand that I sampled myself. When I sampled this piano, I went all out. I wanted to try some new things. I wanted to try multiple microphone positions to capture uh, different perspectives of the sound. I wanted to capture as many different releases from each key as possible to capture that resonance more accurately. And I wanted to uh, use five velocity layers this time, whereas on the Academic Grand, the Steinway that we produced, I only had four velocity layers. This instrument turned out to be much more complicated than the Academic Grand simply because we were able to use a lot of those recordings that I had captured during the sampling session and we ended up with three different microphone positions that can be mixed and matched from the interface and with the help of Arno's extensive knowledge of the scripting feature of Contact he was able to find a way to get these multiple releases on each key that are timed out and they work very well. The Kawaii EX is a very warm, rich, resonant instrument, but this particular piano that I recorded had a very powerful forte and fortissimo. But it can get so soft once again. That you know, demonstrates just some of the dynamic range and it, it makes this piano a true concerto instrument. And it can build, we go through the mezzo forte range. And then we have, you know, just like I said earlier, we just build to that uh, fortissimo. And it just, it really gives you a lot of bite. The Kawaii X certainly has a lot of bass, big, huge bass sound on it. And the other key feature of this Kawaii X Grand Pro library is that it has the fifth velocity layer, which is a powerful fortissimo. Let's talk about the three microphone positions that you can select from. You may have a, a piano that's sampled one way, and it may be great for classical or, or light jazz or something like that, but it may not be good for rock and roll. And maybe the piano is capable of it, but the way it was recorded just doesn't suit you know, all types of music. So having the multiple microphone positions allow it to maybe fit better, you know, sit better in a mix or uh, be used for different styles of music. It's, in a way, it's almost like having three pianos in one. So here's close position. It has, you know, a very sharp attack to it. wide stereo uh, image to it. This is the player position. It has a much, you know, a very powerful sound. Now I'm going to hit the mute button here and turn on rim side position. The microphones are closer together. This is going to create a more focused sound. And this has a very solid mid-range to it.
now we can start to combine these different microphone positions. Here's Rim. Have the close muted right now. And then if I turn on close, I think the best way to demonstrate these releases is to have the light patch loaded. Now the light patch only has the one release per key per velocity, as do many uh, piano sample libraries out there. Here we have the light version with its one release per layer. So that one release has to cover staccato, but it also has to cover all the other releases as well. But what we have here is the, the pro version with true staccato releases. You hear just a little bit of more of that resonance, especially in the bass. And I can use the interface here and turn up the release volume and get even more of that. And you know, if you turn it way up, you get just a crazy sound. You really get a lot of ambience that way. And you probably have noticed that I've been getting resonance upon releasing the pedal. pedal up and you hear that little release trail left over. There you can really hear it. So you have the three microphone positions to pick from and you can mix and match them with the custom interface that Arno designed. And we have the three releases having the staccato and the medium and the long. And we have that extra fortissimo layer that's only at the very top when you just really hit those keys hard. I encourage you to watch my upcoming second video about this Kawaii EX brand library. And in that video, I'll talk more about the microphone positions and how they can be mixed and matched. There'll be more demonstrations of the releases. And I'll have another friend come on, and it'll be his first time to give this piano a try. For more audio demos and to add this library to your collection, visit AcousticSamples.net.